well welcome back to the channel and the rain stopped for just the one day so it was a quick dash out after work try and squeeze in 18 holes now this is my last round before I went for a lesson is it actually any better is anything improving now they've started greens maintenance which means sand on the greens so I'm not going to blame the greens for a three putt or a chip and two putt so I better not claim I'm putting well if I actually one putt one of these things it is what it is it happens at the end of March every year the work has to be done and we'd be pretty upset if they didn't do it So, tonight's theme is, can you get better by simply playing more often? Well, you can, but that's because you start to accommodate your fault. If you've got a slice and you don't fix it, all you're going to do is end up aiming further left. Now, you might hit a few more fairways, you might even hit some greens, and your score might improve. But guess what? You've still got an ugly slice. So on the holes where it is not immediately obvious because of you can't quite see, I'm putting a little arrow in to show what direction I'm supposed to be hitting in. Now it's certainly true, as we play more golf and even go to the range and practice a bit, it's going to get a little better. But is it going to get better enough without going for some help? And the answer for me, personally, is no. I need some help. And that's why I'm going to see Matt. There is just one problem with accommodating your fault. So you aim off into the trees on the left because you've got a slice and then you hit one dead straight into the trees. What the hell are you going to do on the next tee box? What have you got that you can trust? On the next tee do you aim for your slice or do you aim for the straight one? you got a double miss. You need to fix that. I'm going to fix mine. i got my first lesson booked. Right, let's get up this hill, hit the green for a change. And the main reason for going to get some lessons is shown right here. When Matt got me ready for Thailand in March last year, 144 half a clever pill was an easy 7 iron. And as you can see, I haven't even made the front edge. I'm a good 10 or even 15% down on distance due to the poor strike. And just when you think things are going really bad this evening, you hit one right out of the top drawer and you wonder, where on earth has that come from? Because the rest of it has been pretty poor. 158, 6 iron, downwind, this is going in the heart of the green, right? Well, no, it doesn't even make the front edge. See, in getting better at golf, it's not about making your best shot better. It's about making your worst shot better. And my worst shot right now is very, very poor. You know, if you've been scoring reasonably well, like me, because you're chipping and putting, don't kid yourself. The game is still a bit of a mess. And I assure you, if you put a card in my hand in a competition, 
my game would fall apart like a house of cards, as I'm sure yours would too. Hard to count what the score is tonight with the greens maintenance being done, but the ball striking isn't really any better, is it? I need a lesson, and I've got one booked. Well, that won't be one lesson, that'll be the first lesson. It's going to take several for me to be able to play to my four handicap off the yellows and my five off the whites. Well, if you ask me in the bar afterwards, I say, yeah, I made a par on the fifth. But you and I both know I hit two miserable shots. Wide open club face with a hybrid off the tee. And then a 68 yard sand wedge I came down so steep on and so fat, I made it over the water by six or seven feet. When really, you know, your wedge game you should be up here he says pointing in the wrong direction you should be 10 or 12 feet away with a sand wedge should be putting for birdie not scrambling for par so even though you're making pars you've got to be honest with yourself I've got a very fast two ball coming up behind so I'm gonna hang on here have a smoke and let him through so as I was saying Lessons is about making your bad shot better, not your good shot better. So for instance, this drive, against the wind, soft ground, I couldn't do any better. It's this shot that needs to be better. This green's on a temp because of the sanding, so I'm just going to have a chip and run and then go to the eighth. Well, eight is playing down the breeze, so I'm going to take the driver and basically bang this down the left side of the pond. We had a north wind this weekend, so I laid up. But when it's downwind, I'll have a go at it. Now I can get on in two. And that's two shots right out the top drawer. And you think, why have I done it here, but I haven't done it elsewhere? So, eagle putt. Don't worry, it's not going to get there. Putting through the Sahara. And um, it's going to end up in a three jab, but I think under normal circumstances certainly going to be a tap in birdie so where do these good shots come from when so much of it is utter garbage is it luck it's certainly not by design because if I could actually do it I'd do it every time wouldn't I
I think it's been a long time since I've been able to stroll onto the first tee and have three swings and go. I'm a little bit older now and I need a little bit more warming up. And as I've gone round I've warmed up a bit and I've hit the ball a little better. But to be honest, you know, just playing golf is not going to be enough. You have to go and do something positive. The thing I'm going to do positive is have three, maybe even four lessons and a lot of practice. Not sure how far we'll get tonight. The clocks have just changed, so uh, we might get the back nine in, we might not. So after a very short and very skanky three wood out the heel, here comes this shot again, ball below the feet, perfect fade, onto the green. And I'm scratching my head as to how I'm hitting that kind of difficult shot well, and others so, so badly. I think I need to go see a golf pro. And another low skanky one. It's not getting any better, is it? You know, you think by playing more often and practicing, it's going to get better. Whereas in reality, it really isn't. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you need to do. You know yourself far, far better than I know you. In fact, I don't think I know myself right now. So I know what my options are if I want to play some decent stuff this summer. And then when I start playing some decent stuff, then I can start making the videos that I prefer to make rather than you just seeing me shooting triple my handicap. And that is another absolute stinker. But on the other hand, And I think it's very obvious why I was saying, oh shit, on the tee. On the bank with rough like this. Yeah, that's not pretty. All I can say is I dug it out. 118, 9 iron. And it's not enough. That wind is still up there. Now the last four holes are probably my favourite four holes on the course. I can play my cut into the right to left wind, it's downhill, it's going to go further, it's going to flatter my ego. It's a fairly easy green to hit from the fairway, unless you're short. It's a beautiful evening. Shame it won't last. Now with these short irons, I've got the feeling that the club head is overtaking the hands and adding loft, which is why it's going so damn short. I mean, I had 102 with a pitching wedge to a back flag. 
I should be off the back of the green. I've probably got the thick end of 45 feet of putt, which means I'm not hitting it very far. So I know guys in the comments will be saying, oh, you're hitting it well. Yeah, so, yeah. So I've hit a pitching wedge, which I'd normally hit about 112, and I've hit it, take off two, take off another 10. I've hit it 90. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty stinky right now. This particular green has a lot more borrow on it than some of the others, so I find it entertaining, assuming that I don't have a brain fart and do that. 16, the short par 3, with two big trenches, so if you miss the green, you're in serious bother. It's all very entertaining. It certainly lights my candle, even if I can't putt. Very poor tee shot, very poor camera position. You're just going to have to listen for the birdie. Three wood over all the outer bounds. Can't wait for the summer when the fairway dries out and it's possible to drive all the way down to the green. That's a bit right. And it's in this stuff which is pretty nasty. On the dance floor, should finish with a par. See you in the next video.